Just a quick word of warning, during the course of this video, and my life for that matter, I might say 4K when I mean UHD, the same way somebody else might say Hoover when they mean vacuum cleaner. If that's the kind of thing that upsets you, then please turn off now. A couple of weeks ago I picked up an ultra high definition Blu-ray player and I do intend to make a review video of that but this isn't that video, this is something else because inside the box there were two discs and those just happened to be the exact same titles that I'd picked up perhaps six weeks ago for a video that I intend to make about the VCD format. So I thought this is a great opportunity, I've got the same titles on formats that came out 23 years apart. So what better thing to do than do a head-to-head -head video? Now before any members of the literal net chime up, I just want to point out this is just supposed to be a bit of fun, light-hearted entertainment. Obviously comparing a UHD to a VCD is ludicrous and that's exactly why I'm doing it. So let's compare the packaging first of all. So if we have a look at this UHD disc here, it comes inside one of these cardboard box slipcase things. They don't normally have those, and I say normally, the ones that I got separately don't have those, just the ones inside the box with the player. As you can see it looks pretty much like a normal Blu-ray. I want to show you something though in this X-Men case that I was a bit disappointed with. Very flimsy. Take out the paper, you can see that this is actually a see-through one. It's very little plastic there. So for a collector's format, I think that's a bit weak. I'd expect something a little bit uh, more upmarket than that. Now, I like what they've done with the VCD case here. It's in this interesting vertical orientation. It certainly draws your eye to it. But in reality, all it is is a CD case. It's just on its side. But I think that's quite a clever idea. Of course, CD cases are always prone to snapping off at the hinges and things. But I think they could also have done a better job with that U. HD case because it's a bit boring so I'm going to call this one a draw I think and because I'm kind I'm going to give them one point each. Okay let's move on to price. Now the only reason that the VCD is still hanging on by the skin of its teeth in the Hong Kong market is that it's the cheapest physical way that you can buy a film on a disc. So if I look at the price that I can import one of those titles into the UK and then compare it against the UHD of the same title well, the VCD is still cheaper, therefore I've got to hand the price points, the score, over to the VCD, which means it's now nudging ahead. But of course that's only half the story, we've also got value to talk about. On a UHD disc, at least the ones I've bought so far, you get the film in the UHD format, you also get a download code for an HD version of the film, and you get the film on a standard Blu-ray, whereas on the VCD you just get the film. So. On the value, it might be a bit controversial, but the judge's decision is final. I'm going to have to hand that one over to the UHD, so things are back to square again. No one can argue with this one. Catalogue. How many titles are available on each format? Well, if I look on the Yes Asia site, on VCD they list over 18,000 titles. Whereas if I look on Amazon for the UHD, well, there's a grand total of 25 listed, and not all of those are out yet. So, definitely got to hand that one to the VCD, so again, it nudges ahead. But I hope the VCD enjoys its moment in the sun, because we're now going to look at sound. Well, as far as sound goes, a VCD is stereo at best, but quite often mono with different audio on the left and right tracks. But yeah, just stereo, I'm afraid. A UHD, it's got all sorts of stuff. To be honest, I don't even know everything it can do. But if we look at the specs, a VCD is MPEG-1 audio layer 2, 224 kilobits a second, whereas a UHD has got TrueHD, DTS, all of those things. So we've got to give that one to the UHD. It's no competition. UHD, you're back level again. Now, the next category is really what it's all about video quality. Let's compare these two different formats. Now I can't play the VCDs back in my new ultra high definition Blu-ray player because it doesn't play VCDs and for that matter I don't think Blu-ray players in general do so I'm going to be playing the VCDs back through this DVD player which is a good one it'll probably upscale it a bit and stuff so it's going to look about as good as a VCD could possibly look. Now to demonstrate these to you I'm putting them both into this OLED TV it's an LG 65 EF 9500 and I'm recording it with a Sony RX10 Mark II pointed at the screen. Yes, I know it's not exactly scientific, but I can't capture 4K video just yet. I was a little bit surprised to find that these VCDs I bought are in 4.3 ratio. Now the format is always 4.3, but more often than not, when I bought them in the 1990s with Hong Kong martial arts movies on, they were letterbox. Well, these VCDs are not, they're 4.3 full screen. So as you can see here, as I'm flipping back and forth between the two different formats, it's pretty obvious which one's which, so I'm not gonna to have to label them on the screen. You can see that it's a 4.3 ratio on the VCD and a 16.9 on the 
ultra high definition Blu-ray and just look at the quality difference between these two here. Yeah, in case you're unsure, that one there, that's the VCD. The subtitles might have given it away. Obviously the quality is completely different. The thing with a VCD is that it's playing back off a normal CD with a very low data bandwidth and a low resolution. So combine those two things together, you just end up with a smeary, horrible mess, especially when there's lots of fine information and detail going on on the screen like there is in these shots here. So we'll just do another comparison. Of course, the aspect ratio is a big issue as well. You seem to miss a lot of stuff off the edges, but it just flattens everything down. The colors look terrible, but you know, we're talking about a 23 year old format. So remember just doing this as a bit of a joke, the worst format versus the best. And talking of which, if you look at this here out of Mad Max, look at the colors, look at the aspect ratio, what you can see on screen, and then look at the UHD. It's like night and day. Well, it's not, it's day and day, but you know what I mean? The colors are what pop really. If you look at this, it looks like you're watching an old episode of MacGyver off of VHS when you look at this one and you can tell that that's something completely different and an awful lot better. If you're the kind of person that likes specs to go with their video, well, they're on screen now. Now, the VCD at the top, I quoted the resolution for the NTSC disc, because that's what these two are, and that's 352 by 240 at a bitrate of just 1,150 kilobits a second. That compares to the UHD Blu-ray at the bottom, which has a bitrate of 100 megabits a second. So video quality, tricky one to score this. I mean, there's pros and cons. No, there isn't. Obviously, UHD wins by a country mile. So let's move on to the next category, which is navigation. Now, if you're playing back a Blu-ray or a UHD Blu-ray, you tend to get chapters and menus and things enabling you to jump to the right part of the film if you wanted to. Well, on a VCD, yeah, none of that. You play it at the beginning and it goes all the way to the end and you stop it. There's no chapters or any of that kind of business. It's very, very basic. And therefore, obviously, navigation is another win for the UHD, which is moving ahead quite a bit now. So let's move on to the next category, which is convenience. What do I mean by that? Well, on the VCD format, you can't fit a film on one disc. They can only hold 70 odd minutes each. So you need to split a film across two discs which is inconvenient. Of course, on an ultra high definition Blu-ray, you can get a full film and plenty more besides on one disc. So that's more convenient. I'm going to have to hand that one over to the UHD. Now, the next thing is something that has put a lot of people off buying physical media, and it's that delay that you get between actually putting a disc in the machine and you getting to the film that you wanted to see, wading past all those menus and things. So on this, I've put both discs outside. I've pressed play on both remotes. They've both got into the machines, and we'll see how long it takes from pressing play on a remote to actually getting into the film itself. Now, some discs in the past have had, uh, of course, copyright messages, those kind of things, but also forced trailers that you have to watch before you can get into the film and that's really frustrating but as you can see here on the left the vcd is in the film it looks like the uhd on the right has also got into the film but it hasn't all it's doing at the moment is loading the menu before the film so we press play on that one and see how long it is before we can get into it but notice it hasn't shown us any forced trailers or too much nonsense it seems to be getting there and it isn't that far behind the VCD before we see the Warner Brothers logo pop up there. So they're both playing the film there. So not bad for a UHD, and I hope they keep up that kind of speed in the future. But this category is a win for the VCD, but it's just a consolation prize because overall the grand prize goes to the UHD. I mean, how couldn't it? The two formats are 23 years apart. What we're really doing here is comparing the worst possible video format that you can currently buy movies on to the best possible format. I just happened to have both discs. And I thought it'd be something that would be a little bit amusing to feature in a video. So hopefully you've had a bit of fun, but that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.